Hey, good Thursday to you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're enjoying this fantastic weather here in what we call Paradise Havasu. This is why we live here right now, is to enjoy all of this beautiful weather that we've been having. You see, the writer of Proverbs reminds us of something. It actually asks us to do business honestly and use honest weights and measures. Well, that's something we don't hear a lot about in today's society, but God's Word actually outlines a business practice for all of us to use, not only in the business world, but in our own lives. Here's a reminder. God detests dishonesty. He even says that it's an abomination in Proverbs 20.10 to himself. And I don't know if you know what an abomination is, but that's one of those things that literally nauseates God. Now, I don't know about you. I hate being nauseated and I hate being sick. I literally do. I will do most anything to avoid that. Well, if God is saying that by a particular practice, it nauseates him, I think we should pay real close attention. Now, they use weights and measures, which means this. Most of the time, they were on a barter system. You would bring grain in, and they would weigh it out, and they would measure it. Question for you. Have you ever been in line, you've given someone uh, money to pay for the items that you've given, and they gave you back too much change? And as you're counting it out, you're looking at it, and you're thinking, I've got a choice to make. Are they testing me? Are they, are they just clueless? Or is this an opportunity for me to be a witness and practice God's way of doing business? Excuse me, you gave me back $2 too much or you gave me back a quarter too much. And you can say, well, it was only a quarter. However, it didn't belong to you. And anything that you take that doesn't belong to you, what is it? It's called theft. You know, a goal is teaching us to be honest. God's teaching us to be honest when we are conducting business in today's world. The world says, go ahead. No one will know. Nobody will know that you, you're taking this or you're cheating your brother in business. And I say it does not truly matter if anyone else knows. First and foremost, you know. Secondly, God knows. He knows that you're being a shyster. And our goal as a ministry is to be the benchmark of ethical, honest business. The best way that I know to accomplish this goal is to do business the right way, God's way. Not to just benefit yourself, but to be fair in all your business dealings. You want to impress people, right? Okay, let me tell you how you can do that. Conduct business God's way and you'll be rewarded. God's word teaches us how to do business. It says use honest weights and measures. It didn't say cheat. God's word teaches us that that's his way. May want to read it on a daily basis. If you want to do business God's way, read God's word. It'll teach you how to do business. God teach you. God teach me by your power to do through the guidance of the Holy Spirit business your way, God, not my way and not the world's way. Will you join me in prayer? Father, this is a simple uh, principle that you teach us. You, you shared with us weights and measures and to use them honestly. And Father, sometimes we have a tendency to want to uh, bend the rules a bit. And we think that it really doesn't affect anyone, but Father, it affects our witness in this community. So we're asking that you allow Calvary to be the benchmark of business. I'm asking that you allow each one that's within the hearing of these words to understand, to hear, and to practice God's way of doing business. Honest, upright, moral, and ethical in every aspect of business. And we'll be sure and give you the praise. In Jesus' strong name, amen. Well, I hope all is well in your household and that you have adopted the attitude of gratitude of Thanksgiving during this Thanksgiving season. God bless you and bye-bye.